The University of North Dakota visiting St. Cloud State last weekend at the National Hockey Center. Let's get to the highlights. Game one, first period. SDSU had and scored for over 190 minutes until this power play. Good puck movement by the Huskies led to this. A rebound off the back of the boards. Felicia Nelson manages to control it, ends the streak. Huskies get the lead and get the goal. North Dakota would answer back here, still in the first. Loose puck in front, taken by North Dakota. They'll move the puck around. Loose puck in front of Nixon, taken by Holly Perkins. She'll put it in the net, one to one after one. Moving to the second period now, North Dakota would strike again. Long pass to Alyssa Weeb. She'd streak in down the near side, puts the puck five hole on Ashley Nixon. North Dakota takes a two to one lead. St. Cloud would answer back though. It'd be it would be Megan Pizon. Watch this shot. Boom. Wines fires slap shot past Kirkham. Tour and Daggett on the assists. That tied the game up at two. St. Cloud wouldn't be done though. Here's a power play for the Huskies. Puck movement leads to Megan Pizon getting it between the circles. She'll rifle it wrist or top shelf. St. Cloud State up three to two with that Pizon power play goal, her second of the period. Moving on now to period three, it'd be Alyssa Weeb answering back. Wow, did she have a game for the Sioux. Five points on the night, including that goal, making it a 3-3 three to three game. Gilbert and Loken on the assists. North Dakota again would strike here, taking the lead on this play by Sarah Dosne. She'll change directions, get it past Knicks, and North Dakota up 4-3. to three. Less than two minutes left. The 18-17 mark. Mark, it's a loose puck in front. Watch this play by Caitlin Hogan on her stomach, manages to get control of the puck, make it 4-4, four to four. so this game would go to overtime. And a Holly Roberts penalty led to this, a power play for North Dakota. It would be Kelly Lewis, the captain for the Sioux, putting the one-timer past Ashley Nixon, ending the game, Perkins and Weeb with the assists. 5-4 to four, oh, final in overtime. North Dakota over St. Cloud State. Pizon, solid night for the Huskies. Two goals, two assists for a four-point night. Four players getting multiple points for the Huskies. We're in game two now. Huskies trying to salvage a split, and they would strike first again, just like in the last game. Felicia Nelson on the doorstep manages to get it past Stephanie Ney. Nelson's second of the year. Pizon and Hirsch with the assists. North Dakota would answer back here. It'd be the first goal of the year for Jordan Slavin from the point. It hits a skate, manages to bounce through traffic. Vendeniker doesn't even see it. One to one after one period of play. Now second period, there wouldn't be any scoring, but quite a few chances for the Huskies. Kylie Lane with the chance there, saved by Ney. Now another chance for the Huskies, but Ney standing strong in net. The defense helping her out on those rebounds. And Van Deneker, she's not to be outdone. She got some help from the pipe, though. A couple of post hits for North Dakota in this game. Uh, otherwise, it could have been a different result. But Van Deneker playing very strong in net, trying to get her first win on the season. Here we are in the third period, still tied at one. Pizan will lose the puck. Hogan right there at the right time. She puts it in the net. Her seventh goal of the year, Pizan and Roberts with the assists. Now another play here. Felicia Nelson will put the initial shot on. Somehow it gets through, just tucks in the corner of the net. Her third of the year. That would prove to be the game winner as North Dakota would add this late goal by Ashley Furia. It was unassisted, but it wasn't enough as St. Cloud State gets their first WCHA win. 3-2 final, Taylor Van Deniker, 22 saves. Felicia Nelson, 2 goals. Pizan, 2 assists. Pizan would have 6 points on the weekend and be named WCHA Offensive Player of the Week. We talked about the scoring. Look at that. 7 goals in 2 games against North Dakota compared to 8 goals through the first 7 games. Also, that power play clicking for the Huskies, 36% in the series against UND. Looking at other scores around the WCHA on Friday, Wisco beat Minnesota 4-2. The Ohio State University defeated Minnesota State 7-6. Bemidji State over Wayne State 3-1. Mercyhurst defeating Minnesota Duluth 5-2. Saturday, UMD would get revenge on Mercyhurst 4-3 over the number one team in the country. Minnesota State falls to the Ohio State University. Bemidji State falls to Wayne State 6-1. Saturday scores from around the WCHA. And then Sunday, Wisco beat Minnesota 5-2 in a rare Friday-Sunday series in the WCHA. 
WCHA standings looking at them. Minnesota still at the top with 12 points. St. Cloud State still in last, but they did get a point, two points. Look at Ohio State sitting at third with eight. This weekend's matchups, Ohio State at North Dakota, Bemidji State at Minnesota State, and Robert Morris visiting Wisconsin.